Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Tuesday, June 18th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is I align my words and actions. I consciously walk my talk. We have some cat shenanigans happening in the background. We'll see if they keep that up. They've been quiet again lately, but making a ruckus for a reason. And maybe it's because of this astro energy. So as of this time, um, we're right now building to an inconjunct between Mercury and Pluto. And this is going to be happening late tonight, late Monday night as I'm recording this, after I'm recording this. And we're building to Venus and Pluto making an inconjunct. And these inconjuncts can be hard because we're not looking at things eye to eye we are seeing things at different angles and we all have different perspectives in the world and this can happen and it can be so challenging at times to feel understood to be actually be understood um and to see things in alignment and so things may get a little twisty turny in this energy but as it gets twisty turny like as things move and rotate it kind of lets I'm seeing like mists, like mists come through. Things that you may have missed. The mists you missed. Um, things that you may not have seen. So if you find yourself feeling a little topsy-turvy, a little inside out, in and through these energies, look back to what you may have missed. Um, that's part of this Pluto empowerment. And there's also a call to see where you can shift your vibes. Now, where this is hard is like, you know, Pluto and Aquarius is like, yeah, you can shift your vibe. And Venus and Mercury and Cancer are like, no, we're going to sit here and we're going to feel our way through this. And neither is right and neither is wrong. There's a time to feel and there's a time to heal. There's a time to feel the feels and go to those places. And there's a time to make those shifts and see where you need to empower your energetic alignment. So keep that in mind in and through this twisty turny topsy turvy in conjunct <laughs> feeling pluto always serves to show us our own shadows and so that's what we can look at and that's what we can then nurture with venus and mercury in cancer tend to that energy we also have the moon uh, in Scorpio, which is helping take us into the deep. Now, it's also helping that we're building to a full moon. We have a full moon coming on Friday, Friday evening, uh, at the beginning of Capricorn. We actually are going to have two Capricorn moons. We're going to have one at the beginning of Capricorn and one at the end of Capricorn. And I definitely think there's a lot to that. And we'll dig into that later this week. But the, the building, the waxing of the moon is creating some of these emotional waves. And today, the moon is also gonna connect to Saturn and Pisces, which is gonna pull upon, you know, some of that Pisces deeper energies. When I was feeling something earlier today, I was like, is this mine? Is this my past life? Is this my ancestry stuff? And I got a big all of the above answer. So recognize that in and through this unfolding. Now, we're also building to the Sun and Neptune squaring each other on Thursday. And so that energy is building and can also build weirdness in communication. Um, so just be very aware of that. Neptune can bring the delusion illusion. And I wanted to show you, I actually pulled this card. It's called Delusion, um, the last new moon in my patron group for myself. And it says, intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. And so that's part of this Neptune energy is where we can find surrender in whatever is unfolding and then continue to align with our vision, continue to align with our intention. But just watch today. Again, there might be some topsy-turvy, there might be some bigger feels coming, and the mind is spinning because it's finishing, the sun is finishing up in Gemini. So we've got the mental spins going on. Watch, keep watching the stories. And what are they telling you about your subconscious, about what's really going on down there? Great day to take a little hermitage, a little hermit time, 
to get in touch with you because why? We've got some baggage. And I think this is what's coming through in the mists. Um, the mists we missed <laughs> with these in conjuncts. And so watch for the baggage. Watch for the stories you don't want to tell anymore, the things you want to release. Can you tell a different story? Can you shift your story? Can you empower your story? We also got compromise, and I think this makes a lot of sense with this Venus, Pluto in conjunct, and even with Venus and Mercury still, you know, still pretty close. There may be some conversations, and it may require trying at least to see eye to eye with somebody else, even though the in conjunct's making it hard. Finally, we find ourselves in our power with the sharing card, sharing our light, especially when we've made it out of the muck, because this energy can have some muckiness so just be just be aware just be aware of that anyways short scope today right <laughs> i'm gonna leave that here you can book a reading with me email me mimi clark at gmail.com besides that the better it gets the better it gets there's more than enough love in the world for you you have the power and remember who you are for you are the solution namaste